Are oh, we on yes. the air? We are live. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Illinois Married Mixed Tournament here on the CPTC live stream network. I am Matt McClure alongside Jason Love and Sean Albrecht. We can't say it backwards, right? We can't say ma ma uh, mixed married. Uh, uh, we can't, it, mixed that married has correct? a totally different connotation it does, in my it? mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm an old timer. What you, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's no upside 24. down pineapple. I just here. realized that. Sorry, guys. Can I start over? Yeah, no, let's start again. I'm Matt McClure alongside <laughs> Jason Love and Sean Albrecht here for the CBT live stream network. We are at beautiful historic Yes, Evanston Golf Club, uh, which has hosted the Illinois Married Mixed for the last couple of years, actually, in which we've been lucky enough to live stream. Of course, we do have Cal Noble here in the booth yes. calling the shots, setting up camera angles, just generally creating content. That's what he's like a TikToker, but on steroids. <laughs> I, I just noticed Gen something that Gen you see. Gen Gen the word historic rolled off your tongue so easily here at Evanston. Not that it's not, but you always say that at Glenview. I do. You know, I mean, yeah, there is a lot of history at all these clubs, but I'm not going to lie. Part of me felt but there, there is a little... Um, a, a big part oh, yeah, of it okay. is I only uh, count it as history if the live stream team has been there in the Got past. Got it. Okay. Right? So not only it, that... If, yeah, go, I was gonna if say, we not, ended up in like River Forest, we'd be like, ah, not, nothing to say here. Not as historic. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not only that, you got, you know, uh, historic, there's Landmark Layden, you know, what do we say, the Landmark? <laughs> Landmark Layden. Land, Landmark Ridden. You know? Land, yes. Uh, uh, Glenview, sorry. A pox of landmarks. And we're, so, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Beautiful day, coaches. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. I mean, I, you know. Yeah, everybody everybody uh, lucked out. The parking lot is packed. The golf course is full. Yes. Uh, not completely true. So I'm going to leave for about 30 minutes. I got invited to play the back nine. Okay. So <laughs> Great. Well, you play fast. Great. That's the awesome. Hey, don't take a practice swing. Just you get know? up there and go. <laughs> yeah. It's I like best your ball. attitude, you know. That's my life. Uh, yeah. That's it, my life's philosophy. If right you want to play slow golf, find someone else. The, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally with you. <laughs> I'm totally with you. The best golf you can possibly play is when you take three clubs and just sprint the course. I, mean, I you know, can't stop, help. Stop thinking. I, I can't know, help but play, play slow golf because I am I was called slow so much in my life. Anyway, so <laughs> it's, I'm just going to play golf as a slow person. All right, so let's so, introduce the players before I get yeah, into more trouble. Yeah, this is the uh, A1 division. So the married mixed is broken up into a variety of divisions based on level and PTI. So over here uh, we have the McNerneys. So this is Graham and Lizette. McNerney here closest to the camera. And then over there on the far side is Patrick and Allison Bouchard, I think. Yes. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, they can let me know after they rewatch the match. Absolutely. Um, if I get a text from anybody in the world of CBTC paddle, I will disregard it because that's not <laughs> what we do here. Uh, we don't get I'll the take, phonetic I'll spelling. I like, remember that from the last time? I like I the text. Is it Bobby or Baby? I don't, I don't I, know. I, I don't care. Fair. Completely so, fair. I did my best. I apologize. I like now saying I know it, for the future. Is there something wrong with me? I like saying it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Babby, I don't know. Something, I just, I mean, whatever. Funny about however that. you like it. I, I, I find it uh, entertaining. So, by the way, and how, how many times has Graham been on the live stream? But is this like the 18 millionth time that Graham McNerney's been on the live stream? This is my second match in a row. Oh, right, because he, he was the lead final. Right. Yes, yes, oh, that's right. right. Yeah, they actually, uh, when I was out there giving the spiel about where the uh, mics were and, you know, that they were going to be on live stream, they, uh, they great complimented right your there. commentary. They were yep. like, it was nice of you to gas up Graham for the, uh, for the finals. That's the idea. I don't mean that digestively. We're just talking, you know, as a figurative <laughs> thing there. The food is great here, though, at Evanston. <laughs> it's should, a good segue. <laughs> nice segue, Jay. <laughs> all right, so if I'm not mistaken here, what do we got? 40, wait, is it 30 all, Cal? 40, 15? Okay. So I just want to make sure. So, yeah, near side. And that looks like game right there. I, I don't really know the Bouchards. They're from uh, Glen Ellen, I think. Exactly. So, so out west. Right. Um, I, you know, so I don't really, I'm curious to see their game. Well, they won their first round match. I want to say, Cal, do you, you have the score on that first round match? Something like three, six, two, six, six, two and four. So they obviously, I don't want to say, you know, some people just don't belong. But I just want to say they obviously belong here. I, I don't. So that's why I just know. Where, and I'm the only one who apparently doesn't. So <laughs> we're, we're on the, uh, everybody else does. <laughs> we're, there's like, a, we're on eight-hour shifts. I'm one of the guys there, the 
There's one other guy out there. I think uh, Timmer Halligan, the other guy. Can't it's not <laughs> that's allowed. A, that's a not deep. Allowed in that's here. a deep yeah. pull I know, from the past. Trying there. to figure, you know, somebody who won't get me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a good one. So, so this, go ahead. Sorry, this is uh, always an entertaining event, and I'm not going to pull any punches here in the world of mixed paddle. Typically, how this works, especially at uh, the higher levels, is. Uh, the gentlemen tend to dominate a little bit of play, and uh, there's some politeness that goes on with the guys hitting big shots to Thank the guys. Heavens. But ultimately, when it gets competitive, it's going to start to be a pick on the ladies kind of style of match. And what makes them really competitive is when you bump into female players that can handle that. Yeah. Uh, and I think that uh, this is actually a, a fun match in this regard at this level because they can. I so. think both Allison and, and uh, Elise can handle it anyway. From what I understand. Agreed. So uh, that's a great drive and yeah. a tough spot. He just held it there. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, you know Graham what? joking that he had a lot of options there and he didn't <laughs> want to do anything really, really uh, negative. That was a nice one. Well, and I, and I think it actually doesn't matter who he was going to play that dip and dive, right? Yeah, right. exactly. Work regardless, right? Yep. So um, I actually think one of the fun parts of, of mixed is – the, the men or the better player, let's say it could be the female, sure. right? Yep. The better player, what variety they have, right? Instead of just blasting balls or Correct. spin or, you know, it's so like that's a great example of that. Correct. And I think that's actually uh, ultimately where teams will be successful is you can have a team uh, that on paper is really solid, but if they're a one-trick pony and you can figure it Absolutely. out. Absolutely. You know, if, if your play is I'm going to rocket this ball at the net player every time and somebody can step up and make a volley, it changes the whole dynamic. Without question, Coach. By the way, do we have any of one of the more of those paddle hacks bibs? Because I think uh, I think J Lo, my glass has a hole in it. We I'm don't. Not sure. That's yeah. a prank glass, Jay. Okay. They always give that to the announcers I'm to just, keep them on their know, toes. Yeah. I mean, the good news is it was just water, right, guys? Yeah. Say, say, that's right. No big deal. Right. That's no big exactly. deal. Yeah. You're not wasting anything. Well, I was the inspiration for the bibs, by the way, uh, <laughs> uh, Jay. So don't worry about it. Uh, that's all my. You know, I should probably have one. So I don't know if we want to go around and say that we've got any uh, picks for this match, but, you know, a little uh, personal one. So Pat Bouchard plays for Glen Ellen. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and we played Series 3 this year. Uh, and one of my good buddies, Scott Green, we, we Look played. Look at the oh, one hand. I love that thought. Oh, the, the one, one hand. hand. You don't see that much. No. You know. Um, but uh, he was the captain of the Glen Ellen team that finished second. Uh, oh, is that right? And lost in the finals, but they beat us in the semis. I'm not going to say they cheated. <laughs> but they definitely shouldn't. But it wasn't yeah, a legitimate yeah. victory. <laughs> no, we lost. We lost. You know, I, I uh, it's point point five of the victory. <laughs> um, but no, so it's. Uh, I tell you that paddle out west is getting a lot better. Yeah, yeah, you're starting to see a lot more uh, depth Strength. in the teams there too. Like if there was always, you know, sort of an element of here's the four or five guys that are super into it, and sure. maybe the depth wasn't there. That is not the case anymore. No, it's amazing. I mean, it, and I, oh. I'm going to use the, the P word. Uh, it's amazing. Pickleball usually takes center stage when they talk about growth in racket sports. But, but, but there's no question that platform has absolutely exploded, especially in the Midwest. That's not the P word I thought you were going to say. <laughs> All right. Um, but I, was, I, I, I got I, real concerned. Did everybody get you? <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt was wait, cringing. Wait, am I that much of a problem? Matt was cringing. No, no <laughs> think, not at all. I think you're right. You know, and, and if you're going to be able to have some variety in this type of format of play, you're going to be okay. 100%. Yeah. I'm developing more of a complex now <laughs> than I had before. Dude, so the, over the course of the next five hours, from 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 there. do we have well, like a penalty box, like a timeout seat? <laughs> you know, that's that a great thought. To go sit uh, we, we should consider having some kind of graphic or, you yeah, know. Like, yeah. we, we could set up a camera in here and just <clears throat> make somebody sit in the corner. Yeah, like around the horn <laughs> where, you know, they, they, they mute, you know. The, <laughs> right. They'll just mute the horn. Right. Or like on a Zoom call, you could tell someone's been muted. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Sean's been muted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll fight five dollars every time that happens. Yeah. yeah that All right. Well, Grandma was set out to a to a little bit of a commanding lead, but you know this it's still early. You know, and it uh, I don't know. I I, I think uh, uh, Patrick and Allison were still still have their best paddle in front of them. At this you know, point. one of the cool parts about uh, this event because of where it sits in the season, it's legitimately the last thing on the calendar is that it is almost always legit warm weather paddle, you know? You know like what, you're right, 72 Coach. degrees it out was, there. Except for last was, week when it snowed. That's I mean, true. They that's amazing. true. They had a chance, but uh, the last couple of years it's been, you know, in the high 60s or low 70s, and it, it is uh, an, a unique dynamic, right? You get to the end of a season, and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, this is a different game. Ultimately, I think it benefits uh, – 
like the married mixed quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, I think it's, it's smart, right? Yeah. Smart timing for the year. Yeah. It's a great way to kind of put an exclamation point on the end of the season. Mm-hmm. Um, and John does a great job running it. Yeah. You know, so He's such it, a good it's, guy. It's so good. But I think for, you know, the couples uh, that play in this, right, the end of the season for men and women is very competitive. It's dicey. It's right. It's a little, little very stressful. Right. right. Yep. And so this is a fun way now. Yeah. <laughs> the next eight teams that we see here tonight are probably a little bit more serious than everybody else. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But uh, it's just a fun way to end it. Great shot by Graham. Good touch. I love how he walked it off. New Pat had no chance at that one. He really, that was good he disguise really because Pat's pretty quick, man. So had to disguise that again. He held it a little bit like a veteran. I didn't even recognize Graham because of the... The, the ponytail, I just didn't see the, you know what I'm saying? Usually he's got it in it. First of all, he doesn't wear a hat all the time. I've never seen him in a hat. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, he's making big moves. You know, it's it's postseason. He's trying out new fashion. Growing the hair know, Trends, out. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the man bun later, you know. I did see his agent walking around, so. He's got options. Yeah, his representation is on property. This I'm pretty sure that's just to make sure that he doesn't, you know, sign anything he's not supposed to. <laughs> See, I was trying to make him do that, I, you know. <laughs> well, you, you should. Yeah, he doesn't even really, he doesn't even pick up a tennis racket. But I just figured, you know, get him, get him with the double Y figure, you know. The only uh, platform tennis player in the APTA to be sponsored by Patagonia, which is, a, he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, ma ma really uh, get the look down. He, he's got kind of the, if there was going to be an ad, don't oh, you well, think he'd be well, kind of the guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, that would be. Graham would be the, like a, a type. I don't know. Maybe I'm not marketing, and maybe that's why, because uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm probably blowing this right now. But <laughs> and well done. Yes, that was the first gentle nudge. Yes, out I was of the way. Say. Uh, and just a so touch on the soft lower back. Like yeah, so you don't, you one of the, yeah, one of the things you can only do yeah. in that way mm -hmm. in uh, in married mixed. Actually, <laughs> if you uh, you do that to your normal tournament partner, he gets the wrong idea. Yeah. <laughs> I had a number of uh, lessons this week for couples, you know, getting ready to play in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And I said, <laughs> before we walk on the court and we, we even get to any hitting balls, we need to make sure we're all on the same page. How serious are we going to take this? What's right. our communication level going to be like? Right. Uh, because I want nothing to do with this what lesson serve. in Come this on. next hour <laughs> yeah. if we're not going to agree on any of this. Yes. That was a, such a smart play from a veteran <laughs> coach, too. If you're not going to agree with this, you can't touch me here, here, yeah, exactly. or here. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys go away, and you decide. You come back when you're good. I don't want to know anything uh -huh. about it. But <laughs> Yes. But you do sort of have to make that decision because I remember really early so, in my relationship when my uh, – my wife and I had just gotten engaged. She wanted to play some mixed doubles event. And, and she's a in, pretty good player, by the way. She, number, she probably mentioned she, that. Yeah, she is pretty good. But yeah, you're, in, you're, she's, in she's game number two, and he's, and he's uh, game number two, I had the uh, really brilliant line of, uh, do you want to play or do you want to win? And that was not the right thing. That's how the fight started. Uh, and uh, my wife is also very competitive, and so I legitimately didn't know which way to go with it. You know? It was, there we uh, go. I think your prop appropriate response was to go no way with it and just <laughs> no, zip I, it and <laughs> see I've what happens. I've learned a lot since then. <laughs> yeah. And not just because of that time I spent in the garage. <laughs> Just do as you're told. <laughs> Speak when spoken to. <laughs> well, see what where you get. If I play do mixed doubles with my wife, it's more like, you know, why did you wear that shirt with those shorts? Just, <laughs> I, I don't understand why you do that. Oh, oh. going after that one. Caught a little tape. Because my wife doesn't even know though. what the score is. That's cute. I know, yeah, that's cute. yeah, I know. It's, she cares about how we, you We lose 0-0, oh oh, but, you, you know, she's like, at least you look okay. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It didn't at the end of the day, is, is that more important? You know, you're right. I'll take it at this point. I'll take any. Look it's at the a one-hander. For sure. I am loving yeah, the one-hander. Yeah, that's, that's a cool flick. <laughs> Definitely. I Pardon like me. that they're I'm picking up. Fl -clump, fl -clump, I, guess. I like that they're picking up the speed here a little bit, right? You know, try something different. Agreed. Which you can get away with out there in this temperature, I would think. So another add in. Point here to hold for a five-love lead, but. First set's only 20% of the match, so, you know. It's a good point. I, you know, we always get that quote, and it, but it works every time. 90% of the time it works every time. The great, the great Rod Workman with that I one. I tell you what. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Let's just I mean, doing a cartwheel. Pat's, Pat's tricky. 
Yep, he is. he's tricky yeah, to play. He can, he, can, he can pull drives from a lot of different positions on the court. Well, if he's I, from the same Bouchard family that I know, tennis-wise, that's just racket sports talent out there. I, Correct. I was, was going to ask, I wish we had a bio on him. Like, where did he play any tennis? Where did he... Uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, what that a bit, dick. That bit the Great a lob line. as well. Love. She played it. From Allison to make oh, it. Oh, and there's Graham, Graham feeling get, like the oh, one-hander. Yeah, like, it's a Federer-Sampras match well, Let's here just today. pull out everything <laughs> oh. just wide. Oh. What an unbelievable point. Wow. All right, to think. We, we got game? Five yep. Zed. No pun intended. Got game. All right. Yeah, go for it. Not your bank's top priority? Here at Wintrust, we take a different approach to banking. No hidden fees or runarounds, but a true banking partner focused on your unique financial goals. Whether you're opening your first account, found your dream home, planning for the future, or starting a business, we have the financial solutions to get you there. Stop settling and start experiencing a better way to bank. Wintrust, different approach, Better results. All right, we're back. All right, so 5 0 here with uh, Team McNerney finding that's their great groove. Serve. Great serve. That's, that's a mule right there, as they say. That thing jumped. Yeah, Is I, that I what would they say? I don't know that I've ever heard I've that. Said, one. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, they out where we, where we are. Oh. People have yeah. said it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to throw the flag on that one. I want to challenge that. It's fine. You got three You got three challenges per set. So today, did I win so. that? I won oh, that one, right? I think so you did. I yes. kept my three. Yeah, okay. you, keep, you keep it. You keep it. And you can use it again uh, in the future. That's, that's nasty. nasty. Yeah. Yeah, ultimately, I think Graham's ability to change speed and do all those different things with the ball, especially at the net, is just such a killer. Yeah, it makes uh, it a little bit of a nightmare. He's always been good at it, but especially I, – I do think it's also interesting that when you are playing warm weather battle, the ability to control speed becomes even more of a benefit. Oh, absolutely. Because the ball that you hit hard, you know, crucial. zips off the court a little bit more, and if you can get something to slow down when it's warm like this, it, it just forces so much more yep. board coverage. And if we can get serious, I mean, I think that's one of the hardest things, right, in, in playing in a mixed or an unbalanced match. Absolutely. Right? You're not going to go full throttle all the time. Correct. You know, like we, we at uh, up at Lake Forest Club, we do our spring paddle, and it's a team-based format, like a Ryder Cup, right? So you, you mix and match your teams from all different players. I mean, we have I love you know, that. 13 women's teams that are all combined into the one right. the one uh, pool, right? So you've got you've <coughs> do you have got, a set you, point. You know, we've got uh, players that are you know top in the in the in the in the state playing with with some beginners or mm -hmm. some you know mid-series players oh, and pickleball. Oh, it. good coverage. It's Sean's favorite P-word. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I never said it was my favorite. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, there, there we go. A little oh, body contact. Get a little that's smooch. a good yeah. one. That's mm. tough. Well, Not sure how that right. I think that play. is. Yes, that is. It was a little tough first set there. A little collision, but everyone's still married. So, you know, <laughs> good, good first set there. Uh, I'm sure they're going to jump relatively quickly into the next one, but we've got to hear from our sponsors here in between sets, so we'll be right back, and we'll keep you updated on the score when we get back on the CBTC Livestream Network. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. All right, back in action with set number two. If you're just joining us, we are at Evanston Golf Club. -E I'm pretty sure it's even in Evanston, Illinois. It, you know, it is. Um, See, sometimes they do. Unlike they do some Skokie. other. Skokie. Is it, are we in Skokie? I think it's listed in Skokie. See, I knew uh, it, it was one of those of clubs, like half of them are. Who you does know, that? We're named after this place, but we're not really in this place. Skokie. Yeah. Skokie, there you go. See, if, I mean, if they could get historic. there. Historic. That's what makes it historic. That's like Glenview historic. Club. Thank is you. that they moved yeah. Evanston out of Evanston and created Skokie. And yeah, Skokie is landmark ridden. I mean, there are so <laughs> many landmarks of the. I'm just oh, there it is. Oh, oh, no. Point over. Did he make that? Yeah. It, wow. Yep. 
That was crazy. Well, all right. Just 30s. caught it. Caught it then. Anyway, well, you're watching uh, Graham McNerney and his wife, Lisette, play uh, Patrick and Allison Bouchard. Uh, the McNerneys won the first set, and we just started the second set, so can't tell you how excited we are to be. I mean, that sounded sarcastic, didn't it? Maybe I should came off it across way, a little bit. I'm sorry, <laughs> just okay. a bit. That was bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. Seriously, I was. Yeah, it's just. It's just my way, you know. No, well, I think I think everybody's having a great day. Where's that penalty weather, box? Like you said. Yeah, <laughs> you're in the box. Yeah. Uh, I think the uh, you know look. The, the basis of this tournament is to be fun, social, socially yes. competitive, as I call it. Thank you. Yes. Um, and again, everyone's John does such a great job putting this out. Um, there, everyone who plays, participates, helps is going to have a great day. Maybe not as good a day as I'm having, uh, personally. Right. Right. But, <laughs> but I, mean, I mean, they're going to try. Way, feel free. You can try. Yeah. Come at it. Good. You know, good no luck. One, no one's beaten me in the day I've had already. So. Yeah. So and getting uh, to sit here with you guys is going to maybe. That's Maybe gonna keep it down, going. Down a yeah, bit. yeah, I'm gonna burst my bubble, right. taking out of the yeah, universe just a little bit, yeah. you know. But it was I, a fantastic day, and then right. I announced with Matt and Sean and until I got here. It dropped down, you know? but yeah, you know. it usually goes the other way with me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Jay. But your shirt short combo looks good. We can tell your wife you look <laughs> That's good. That's right. <laughs> I will email Lourdes and. Well, you're more of an endorsement than I am, because if I said it looked good, she'd be like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> In your opinion, don't believe yet. Don't believe him. Yeah. Oh, great there day. we. There's the some best great day. communication. Where were you there? That's what I was getting. So we've at. seen a little <laughs> bit already, and this I think is the biggest difference, and why it is important for uh, teams to get out there and practice a little is I, I think that the uh, court coverage and movement is one of the differences between the men's and the women's game. Oh yeah. So you'll see uh, a few times where um, you know the. The ladies will set up on a shot and feel like, okay, this is clearly my ball. And all of a sudden, uh, their husband will step behind them to take an overhead <laughs> like they would in, you know, in, uh, you know, men's paddle just has a little bit more court coverage in that regard. And then the adjustments come after that. I might, I'm, you know, I mean, Matt, we've been doing this together a long time, but I'm just going to ask a silly question. I like, think you should. Why? Why? Oh. Why, why is it different? In? You know, oh, so like, for <laughs> example, like I just, I just got to LFC this last year. Uh -huh. And one of the big things I said is like, look, we got 25 teams. My goal is to play in the Illinois married mix or social mixers, et cetera, whatever. Yep. Sure. Like, you, your husband, your wife, your partner, your spouse, whomever it is, your teammate Shot should Patrick know there. what you're going to do, yep. where you're going to be, how okay. you should play. I mean, um, we don't want anyone going rogue. And the response that I hate more than any is, well, the men just play different. Well, uh -huh. why is that? Right. What, what's the what's the, the biggest change there? You know, I... Uh, oh, chest bump. Uh, yep. You don't see that you a lot. You don't see that. Not often in Especially in the Illinois married mix. But um, yeah. like you got to appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 so there were some differences that we had talked about in, uh, like, on I the, love on the coaching one. side which I thought was kind of unique. And some of them come uh, like to basics, right? So why is the game different? Well, uh, the height of the average player between the men and women's game is different. Don't, so for don't example- Don't short guys. I mean, I know the listeners no, can't see I us mean, if you don't know me. Even but. then, right? Like, we're like uh, something as simple as like, okay, we're trying to hit a backhand volley, right? We're trying to commit to a backhand volley in, in sort of a neutral position. That's great. I'm 6'4". I can hit a backhand volley permanently from any, like I don't- Oh, the tweener between nice. the legs. Almost. Uh, I can hit a backhand volley in almost any scenario because I'm tall and gangly. I, if I teach a lady who's 5'2", she has to hit forehand volleys all the time. She doesn't have the court coverage to no. hit a stretch and make that shot. No. So some of it is kind of innate differences, right, that is kind of based on individual players. Um, the other one is that I think that uh, in terms of uh, the positioning on the court, it, like whether or not a team can be fluid to begin with has sure. a, a lot to do with it. So if you kind of lock into I this, like I'm going to stand in my spot and and cover my position. That's your favorite. Well, that's F what we need. The and uh, <laughs> we need second we second, need favorite. second favorite F word. <laughs> and why we need a bib out here. Exactly. And uh, and so if you're you know if you just kind of get regimented in your zone and say this is how I play with my partner normally and then oh, all boy. of a sudden oh, you knew yeah, that was coming. that's just a nightmare. Oh, boy. <laughs> The, the best was Lizette saw it, and she started walking she away. She did, yeah. She yeah. was like, I've seen this before. <laughs> Are we running uh, replays at this point yet, Cal? Mm. All right. You can, I suppose. You need to throw that one out there. That was a pretty solid yeah, shot. that was a good one. I'm sure we'll... I'm sure we'll catch a bunch of them. Yeah, so, I mean, those are some of the kind of fundamental differences as I see it. What about you? Like, when you get into, you know, you have that, that lesson that you're mm. going to do in preparing a team for married mixed uh, outside of the... 
always important. Let's set the level of, you know, competition. <laughs> After we like, have the agreement. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Once we do the agreement, once the paperwork is done, what do you do next? I, I think, you know, uh, this is just me, but my, my goal have, as, Get as, the attorneys uh, involved is what you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I actually paperwork have Paperwork attorneys? I have one on retainer. Yes, you um, should. <laughs> sorry, I just... Sorry, uh, go ahead, yeah. Jason. I'm no, sorry. no, no. I, you I, work with Mike Shabria, too? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did <laughs> last week uh, uh -huh. on a different case. Yep, but, uh, I, I got you. Um, but uh, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Um, but no, I think that the, um, uh, <laughs> the my goal, personally, is to have, and I like that word fluid, right? Anticipation, yes. positioning, placement, it, it to be fairly universal. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if we could, Turn if we had our total yeah. wishes right. answered, right? You know, so that there's not as big of a difference between men and, men and women. I think that men tend to rely on athleticism too much and more, which puts them in a tough position. Agreed. Whereas women generally take more lessons. We work on positioning, team drills, et cetera, mm -hmm. right? So they're a little bit Coachable. more. Coachable. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't use I'm the C word, myself. Sean. Didn't oh, use sorry. It. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, but I actually 100% agree. Men are generally far <laughs> less coachable. That's uh, um, um, or, or at least the women are more coachable. Um, we could say it that way. Yes. I mean, look, I mean, with both men and women, sometimes the lights are on, but no one's home and or care what you have to say. But I think that <laughs> that my, my point being is, is men are better oh, at tough. reacting or right. at being athletic at times. So right. they rely on that. You hit bad shots. You know, they can cover more. Whereas the women are more, you know, typically standard, like, hey, that's your ball, that's my ball. You right. should be in this spot, you should be in that spot. Right. Yeah. So I'd love to bridge that gap. It's a great gap. return from Allison I agree again. with you. Yeah. And if you need to pass me notes under the table because I'm no longer teaching and you are, you just let me know. I'm happy to. You <laughs> well, know. you better leave me uh, alone. My dad used to say, my lights are on, off, and there's nobody home. <laughs> 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 like the curtains are closed. Didn't, didn't they went the, on vacation. Didn't even have the lights on. Said, That's a oh, smart shot. Super shot. Did we say yes, we are running replays? <clears throat> yes, we can run I replays. I love replays. You won't be able to see it on the screen. Oh, we're watching, yeah, we're, but, we're watching, but yeah, Cal we're, is yeah, running them on. Maybe I can pull it up. Screen. Can I? You can watch you could it on if the you screen. Watch. How, how bad is that if I listen <laughs> and watch our match well? I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Well, we're doing it. Well, if you that, watch, vain? If vain you watch, is the word for that? Yeah. If you announce it's and watch the Patrick. screen while you're watching the stream on YouTube and yeah. you comment, you can travel through time. I That's just want to say, I wanna, we want to give the uh, the Bouchards credit here. They just got on the board here. There it is. The great forehand, and they were they were uh, dominating in that game. So maybe a couple of different strategies that they're employing might be working, at least in this set. So, And let's face it, they didn't get this far by not being able to adjust if they need to. So kudos to Patrick and Allison. He's tough. I, like I said, I played him this year. He, he's, he's a very solid player. So, and I've been impressed by both, uh, both of the wives so far playing. It's been a great match. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's doing great. I think, it, uh, I think a big difference that you'll see is in style of play and you know, Graham's ability to move forward and just kind of improvise shots from the center of the court. Oh, yeah. Like he does that at the highest level nationally. Yeah. <laughs> like so, right. he's so right. comfortable and confident there that you yeah. know if that's uh, if that's not already your go-to style, that's something that that is difficult to produce in the moment. But because because his uh, he can just move, walk in randomly, you know, during the, the semis of nationals, uh, you know, <laughs> as cool. easily as he can. And walk is not. Uh, I no. think that's literal. I yeah, think. legitimately, kind of meander step. Yeah. It would be, it, it's going to be curious to watch how Lizette and then their opponents deal with that, right? Exactly. Because none, none of the, the oh, men competing on. in this event, I mean, they what may be shot. played against Graham, but not as frequently as these top national players. No. no. So Absolutely. that's a completely different and new style that anybody's seen before. Correct. And a big part of that for Graham is he's baiting you <laughs> yeah. into yeah. playing his way and, you know. I think people are going to have to yeah. figure out something to work with that. Yeah, it's a big one, and it it, it rattles you, right? Like it, it's a you're, you're out, you go out there, you're expecting sort of a traditional match, even if it's you know difficult, and then all of a sudden, you know somebody throws a wrench in your plan by hitting mm -hmm. all kinds of shots and covering all kinds of weird spots on the court that you're not used to, and it, it throws you off. Well, the other thing about um, Graham, you, you a lot of people would notice, especially during a match like this, is how quickly he recognizes situations. And how quickly he recognizes what shot to hit, when, and that's that's another advantage he had, like right there. Nice. I mean, he already saw 
Yep. Uh, Patrick kind of pinched in the middle there, so he figured, okay, I can kind of chip one out wide. I think that, you know, to that, to that point, Sean, which is great, right? Like the best players, the best athletes in any of their sports, the game, they see the game slower. More slowly, yeah. Than, Absolutely. Than everyone else, right? You know, so, you know, uh, that's what I love when you play in these mixed or unbalanced situations, right? The players right. that can slow the game down to their speed. Yes. Uh, and control that speed that you were talking about earlier, Matt, is going to be so key. Yeah, they, the <clears throat> matter of fact, I always would describe people when they talk about somebody being quick. Yes, you can be fleet of foot, absolutely. But sometimes your ability to recognize, well, you better recognize. We used to say that all the time. You better recognize. I know, I know. Sorry, just got to throw that in. I was still caught up on you calling people quick. I know. I know. I know. Like, what do I know? I, if you look at me, nothing about me is quick except for maybe, you know. Uh, let's not. No, I didn't mean it that way. No, no. Moving on. Yep. Is going, going to the buffet table is what I meant. The buffet okay. table, guys. I was going with the buffet table. So uh, Quick but to it, the buffet. Exactly. Very quick, incredibly quick, but uh, but th that has a lot to do with your speed is just recognition, uh, because they would say that John McEnroe wasn't the fastest player, let's say way back way back when, but he was just so quick to recognize uh, situations, it made him quicker. Right, right. And it often is misconstrued. Right, people assume that someone's moving really fast when really what they mean is their anticipation is exactly. incredible. Exactly. Well, we talked about it the last set of matches at least i did with you guys that's right? right you know i mean you all people really focus on which is a kind of a shame is the top half of their body uh -huh. right you yep. see their hands you see their paddles you see the spin you see the shots but what you're not watching is their footwork their movement their anticipation that's true that's right? true their coach court position love that i'm telling you i'm loving Just patrick's one-hander one-handed yeah, roller also, one of those shots that like you see Nicholas uh, Almagro over there can be it comes out a little bit more frequently in warm weather paddle. You get a little bit higher bounce off sure. the deck, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all of a sudden you, you get a can, chance to drive yeah, it. you can pull the trigger on that. Maybe not as often when it uh, is a colder ball. He just seems to have a feel for it because I mean, yeah, the ball was uh, one of the last ones was about foot off the ground, still able to get under and rel it. Well, I think. Actually, I meant, made the comment in the last couple of games in the first set, right? They're speeding it up a little bit, driving a little bit more. Sure. Yes. Because if you lob it every time, and this is one of the things I try telling people, if, if, if you've got an overhead dominant player, mm -hmm. Graham, yep. right, what's the one shot you don't want to give him? <laughs> an easy overhead. Don't lob it to him, right? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like the smart play here would be to drive more balls, make him hit a volley, make Lizette hit a volley, right? You know, do something different. Yep. They seem to have... Uh kind of heard you there coach because i think that's kind of what they're doing well i think it's instead of music out there right they're listening to us <laughs> might be distracting <laughs> maybe not yeah, who's the I sean mean, guy clearly <laughs> lizette is irritated by just us making that comment so quick, she yeah, you guys, saw that all right we yeah. should tone it down there's the panel yeah. throw yeah. yeah the guy with the buffet that you get to stay away from. the quick one yeah. <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah we all know i've never been called <laughs> I got really mad the other day when someone said, you're not funny. And I was like, man, that really hurts. <laughs> well, he really hurts. What a wonderful sense of humor that person must have. <laughs> you're, still, uh, you're still caring about what somebody says, huh? That's a, that's, that's a, <laughs> well, to be clear, it wasn't my wife. That's it was somebody, if somebody else. Can I mean, I, yeah. that's, that's one of those that you can just eventually abandon. I just took out that my... That wasn't funny. Yeah, it wasn't for you. <laughs> yeah. It was for me. That's your mistake. I was assuming that I was... Uh, yeah, that was not... <laughs> Name that movie. I wasn't entertaining. I wasn't talking to you. No? Anybody? I'm Cal? having trouble pulling it, but it sounds familiar. I want to say planes, Nobody trains, and automobiles. I, I'm National Lampoon's Christmas <clears throat> Vacation. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's right. Wasn't talking. We could start that game. You're not going to win. <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, an add point here for the McNerneys to go up 4-1. But the Bouchards make it difficult. A little long. And they do. You know, another thing that comes to mind in the world of mixed paddle is because you might see a little bit more aggressive movement out of... Uh, the ad player, whoever that, that player is that, you know, wants to be a little bit more dominant and help uh, protect their partner a bit, you'll see a lot more direction change be more mm -hmm. effective, right? Because you get a lot of, <laughs> I'm creeping to the middle preemptively and maybe, yeah, I can, right. you know, maybe I can, you know, make something happen. 
and uh, and as a result, if you get beat, you know, behind you, it absolutely becomes more of a problem. <clears throat> Do we have an extra headset? I might give him mine. We got the Godfather of Chicago paddle, Alan Graham. Here he is. Is he? We can, we can do that. Yeah, we can. He's, we can. he's out here chilling. Do you want it? You want it? I mean, I, I, I usually like to spray the thing down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apparently, apparently, uh, and we were talking about Graham McNerney's agent, uh, Alan's agent, uh, has to sign the paperwork before he can come in. Oh, got gotcha. Got yeah, no, so he's sense. gonna be back later. He's such a veteran. It's you tough. Know? It's yeah. a tough negotiation, actually. You know, you'd think after how many years I've been doing this, I, I would figure that out because I'm like, come on, get in here. <laughs> in all, Sean, if don't we can you go back, though, in all seriousness, you know, shout out to Alan, just a legend. I think he's 84 years old, you know, still teaching 20 plus hours a week. Yep. He's amazing. At Winnetka Park District and Wilmette Park District. Um, you know, just still that's going a, out there teaching, amazing. growing the game. Yeah. But, you know, running the league. Uh, and and the tournaments and all the stuff for so many years. So yeah, One you know they throw the word legend around too much, man. Because Agreed. that's guy. Yeah, that, that's because, what we're talking about right well, there. Well, when you say legendary, you can't. Yeah, that's a different <clears throat> word. You can't. Stay away from Darian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to anyway. Not Sean's favorite L word. <laughs> God, these next five hours in? are gonna be great. Did yeah. that? Did that go in? By the way. Uh, okay. I think it was, it was wide. wide. Yeah, All right. it was wide. Jeez. 30 love, Patrick Allison. But, yeah, no, I, I'm totally with you and Alan Graham's contribution to the game. People don't recognize, like, the logistics side being <laughs> so important in yes. terms of the growth of Chicago Paddle because, you know, you have uh, this period of time where, you know, you're adding hundreds of players every season. Yes. And you have to, you know, figure out a place for these people to go. And if it was left up to the average volunteer organization, it would collapse under its own weight. You know, yes. like it's just it's not possible for somebody to care as much as Alan has in order to make it successful. And, and let's be clear, clear it is, he is a volunteer. Oh, right? no, yeah, like, absolutely. You know, I mean, yeah. and he has a full time job. Yeah. And, and I think to that point, like one of his biggest things is places to play. Yep. Getting courts built. Yep. Like he he is an advocate and works so hard just to have facilities get courts, add courts. Yeah. Public courts in particular. I know he's he's close. He's and that's it. that shows you how hard it is. They've been trying to get courts like downtown Chicago in a public you know facility for years. Yeah, Good job from Patrick. You know, there. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's just, just, just tough. you're right. Yeah. So uh, and his uh, involvement and in, you know helping get it into the park districts of the northwest suburbs has just been huge as well. Once that train got started, you know, an even larger paddle boom began. It's just a pretty impressive. Well, the other thing is about um, people like that. You don't get, they don't come along a lot. You know? No, yeah. There's a there's yeah. a reason that, you know, people that that fill that role uh, absolutely should end up in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> you know? <it's> yeah. A, <laughs> that's a real Hall of Fame. It's player. one thing to be a phenomenal player. It's something else to be the reason that phenomenal players exist. <laughs> I, I remember the night Alan got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, the APTA Hall of Fame. I think it was uh, 2015, mm -hmm. um, and they uh, Chicago hosted nationals that year. Yep. So we, uh, they did his induction during the uh, Wednesday night league championship finals in the barbecue. Yeah. Do you remember, do you remember this one? Yeah, Matt? I do. <laughs> and so I was lucky enough to uh, to be on one of the teams that made it to the finals for the series one match, and our court three match went like three hours. <laughs> Like seven six in the third set, <laughs> and the wow. and the Hall of Fame uh, thing got pushed back like two two hours. <laughs> wow. yeah. The court one match was backed up. You know it yeah. was it was kind of cold, um, but you know Alan still smiled through the whole thing. Yep. You know he'll he'll never let me let that down. Yeah. But when you lob every ball, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, sorry, yeah, Alan. He's, but yeah. he's you know he's definitely was in that. Remember that time that you made me stand in the cold for an extra three hours because you couldn't close the <laughs> <Yes>. deal? <laughs> and all I had on was my Hall of Fame blazer. You know? Right, <laughs> right. You'd think this one time you would, you know, been uh, considerate enough, but no. Well, I also think, uh, you. you know, that's oh. one of the greatest things about Chicago, right, is you got Alan, uh, Bill O'Brien has done so well, but but, mm -hmm. the, but the league has done a great job of filling Back, you know, backfilling in through you know great volunteers, people, John Noble, no et cetera, you know, uh, that that are just continuing to keep it going. Yeah, there's a million other names. Sorry, I'm getting hand motions. There's a million other names that I didn't mention. Uh, we don't have time to get you all. That's we, okay. But we appreciate you. 
the all the work that goes into making this kind of stuff happen. <laughs> I was going to say all the work that that, that that goes into it and Sean. <laughs> So you do a lot. My, my you do a lot. <laughs> can we just all agree you do a lot? Yeah. yeah. I we can all coach, agree that Sean does a lot. I don't know when he's coach like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Coach used to do that. All, all tournament players and Sean are to report to. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I I had a lady one time Such during, a, during drills through the course of the return. season that you know just over time we realized that we were not sp you know speaking the same language. Uh -huh. I was like, here's what we're gonna do today, and Matt, you can do whatever you want, <laughs> um, but I the serve, rest of the other seven, this is what our plan is right. for the day. Exactly. I had a soccer coach that used to say, everyone, including everyone, come in here. Because there would always be that one nerd kid that was like, I and me, coach? Everyone, including everyone. <laughs> Usually, in his defense, it was the goalie. If where he was like, listen, if you're going to say something that doesn't apply to me, I can yeah, just, just go, hang out go here. To the net, right. yeah. But, it, uh, but yeah. If you valuable. haven't heard your name yet. Everyone, including everyone. <laughs> well, you got a little match point here, I guess. So... This is an opportunity. It is all on Lizette's paddle. Mm -hmm. Nice serve. Thanks for jinxing her. There yeah, it is. I'm, I'm the serve well done. There. She's going to remember this when she goes back to watch this. <laughs> on the YouTube channel brought to you by the CBTC live stream network. Nice plug there. You're such a professional. And that worked. Is that right? eight touch. Man, Graham continuing to close to the service line and do whatever he wants. <laughs> Good match, 6062 in the quarterfinals here of the Illinois Married Mixed Tournament from Skokie, Illinois, mm. here at Evanston Golf Club. That's not you got it right. Yeah, don't, let that, right. don't let yeah. that fool you. Let's yeah. just leave the town out of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's You're right. right. You know. Uh, yeah. No there are landmarks impressed. somewhere. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah it, it'll be significant fine. landmarks. Uh, thanks for joining us. We do have a couple more matches to bring you today. The semis is uh, scheduled for 3:30, uh, yes. uh, which I assume will be pretty on track. Uh, because we, you know, the, everybody got on court uh, correctly at the right time after the lunch break. Yeah, what's that all about? Man? And then, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's <laughs> a well-run tournament. I, I don't know lunch. what to do. Yeah. We'll figure something out. I already I ate, skip this, a I meal. ate this morning. Trust me, I'm good. Skip several meals. Uh, and then we will be back with, uh, so 3.30 is the semis, and then 6 p.m. is scheduled for the finals. So we hope you join us for the next couple matches. Uh, we will see you soon. Thanks Beautiful. a lot. From the heart of Chicago, up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee. From urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Not your bank's top priority? Here at Wintrust, we take a different approach to banking. No hidden fees or runarounds, but a true banking partner focused on your unique financial goals. Whether you're opening your first account, found your dream home, planning for the future, or starting a business, we have the financial solutions to get you there. Stop settling and start experiencing a better way to bank. Wintrust, 